yeah, good morning. This is going to be a little video about MacEdit, showing you the very basics of how to, well, do the most important things, the things that everybody wants to do when they have MacEdit. Um, for that matter, I'm going to download um, and open this uh, world here. There's not much in it. There's not much in it at all, um, so it's quite good to to use. So first of all, if you want to move around, you hold down, hold and click and hold the right mouse button, like so. You get this big move with W A S D A D S Q brings you up, Y brings you down. But I find it easy enough to just hold the right button and then just to use that, holding W down, using the right click button, the right button to just maneuver about, which is really easy to be honest. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to just grab this whole house and um, export it into another world for that. We will click on the lowest available cube twice. Once we've done that, we've got one fixed cube here. Now, I'll go, go a bit closer so you can see it properly. We'll have an orange outline here. That means it'll, the selection will now move in that direction. So this is how you can very easily, again panning out using WASD, very easily get the whole width of the selection you're trying to to play around with. There you go. Okay, nice and big. This will look very funny once I've um, implemented it in my other world. But yeah, for, for the... Um, there you go. Whole thing. Wonderful. Couple of green bits. I'm not going to take these green bits because they'll be just extra editing. Right now I've accidentally right clicked again. So this is this is quite easy to select the whole thing. Once it's all selected, you simply hit Ctrl and X for cutting, Ctrl and C for copying. Um, but what I want to do, well actually I'm going to copy it first. Ctrl and C copy, it will then turn up here at the top right as uh, on the clipboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this right here next to it so you can see. Hit Ctrl and V and yeah, there it is. Left click one and then click on the nudge, green nudge item here in the left click and hold with A bring it to the left. Y, bring it down until it looks what is there. You can check while you're doing this. You can just go and check. Yeah, this is not quite the same height as it, so we'll nudge it up using Q. I said we nudge it up using Q. There you go. should be sitting right next to it now, perfectly. Right then, I hit enter and select the, um, control D to deselect the item. And there you go. We've got two of them now. Very, very easy to handle and it's completely and utterly replaced the um, the whole chunk has, has replaced wherever there was before. Now, so you know how to control, uh, how to copy and paste. Uh, export and import actually works the same. If I um, just pop it here somewhere, put it there, oh. say import, 
Now I've got this whole item still selected. I, um, I'm now going to hit export and I can save it in your mine folder, Minecraft file. And I've exported it. That's wonderful. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to leave this world. Yes, save and quit, doesn't matter. Okay, I've opened another world now. And um, I have actually no idea where I am. Fantastic. So I'm just going to go and import this little house here. Um, I had it on a lake with a bit of a... Let's try and find a setting that will sort of work perhaps here. Yeah, that will be fine. Okay, I'll just hit import, which is this button here. And for, for now, you can just go and left click anywhere to put it anywhere in place. Uh, this is not very nice, so I'm going to rotate it using the E here. That's better. Again, I'm going to nudge it with S, bringing it forward. And with D a bit to the right. Let's see if I can just put it in there so it looks nice. Yeah, I kind of like that. See how high it is. Yeah, a bit lower now. Still, yeah, a bit lower. Like so. Mm, it's too low. Because obviously we want the sand, the uh, terrace down here, out of the water. Yeah, but this is fine. Hit import. And there you have it. You have successfully transformed, uh, transported one build from one world to the other. That was very easy. Hit Control and hit D to deselect and Control and S to save. And the other thing I want to show you how to just really quickly get rid of a mountain. Say this mountain here because it looks stupid anyway. I'm just going to click here twice, left click twice again to have one cube selected again, hit the orange the orange sides using S to zoom out this orange side here you see that once you get used to the idea of using the right mouse button and WASD to navigate it's very easy pulling it up with the left button, I have now got this whole mountain half. Well, actually, I'm going to use a bit more than just that. I'm going to completely flatten this whole area here so the house has a nice view. So I'm going to take that little mountain, well, hill there as well. And yeah, you can go right under the world pull down this thing to about there possibly look around and see if that's fine yeah that looks fine and just hit delete ta-da the whole damn thing's deleted okay now I have left over a bit here the nice thing is the selection stays so you can just go and say about there Move the selection like this. Hit delete. There you go. Beautiful. But now, of course, we have all this, which looks really, really ugly. Maybe we don't want this to look really, really ugly. So, I'm going to select this one again. And make a nice selection that will go right across this whole area oh, minus the water I mean I love Minecraft but 
I do not think that I want Minecraft to kill my hands by doing all this stuff by hand. I'm not going to do it. I'm simple as that. Right then, I have, as you can see, selected this whole stone area. And I shall now fill and replace with grass. Okay? And here, fill with grass. Fill. Ta-da! Hit Control and D to deselect. And there you have it. You have made a beautiful bit of grass. Right, that's basically the most important things you need to know about MacEdit. Well, thanks for watching and bye. <coughs>